Hi, Paul here again from makeyourwebsite.com.au. In the next five minutes, we're going to upgrade your web browser to Firefox. Why Firefox, you might ask? One is because of the tab browsing. Like all modern browsers, Firefox has tab browsing, which makes surfing the net and updating content on the net a lot more user-friendly and, and a lot more time-efficient. Another one is because of the add-ons. I'll explain add-ons in a, in a little while, but basically add-ons allow you to customise the browser to your needs. It's web standards compliant. It's very, it's a very secure browser. Um, very few security holes, and it is constantly being updated. Okay, because Firefox is part of the open source community, the open source community contributes to the actual browser, which always updates it. So if there are any security holes or anything like that, they'll be immediately fixed. And the last one is it's absolutely free, like all open source software, um, it, it comes with the uh, under the GP, GPL license, um, which is the the um, open source license for free software. Okay, so just taking you over to a Firefox browser to show you a couple of things. Now the tab browsing I'm talking about is this up the top, it allows you to have multiple tabs open, um, which in older browsers you, to do this you'd have to have separate windows open. Okay, so that's the tab browsing feature, and as I said, you can see I've got my administration window open here, so I can make changes over in my admin side, head back over to my website, hit the refresh button, and you'll be able to see the changes live, which saves me having to, to reopen windows and close windows to be able to do that. Okay, the add-ons. The couple add-ons I'm going to show you today are one called Colorzilla and another one called Measure It. Okay, basically these, um, the first one, Colorzilla, what that allows me to do is if I wanted to know what different colors are on my web page, I can click on the little paint dropper down the bottom there, and you can see this green. If you look at where the paint dropper is, it has changed to green when I hit over that. Okay, to get that color now, I can go back down and right click on that color, and you can see that it gives me the values of that color. Okay, so there's the HTML color and the RGB. Alright, so once again, if I wanted to know the colour of the blue here, I can just scroll over that, go back down, right click on there, and you'll see that there's the colours there, which I can copy and then paste straight into a, a paint program and uh, and get that colour. Now the other, the other uh, add-on is Measure It. Now if I click on the little ruler down the bottom and draw out a square over an element that I want to know the width of and the height, you can see here, now my menu there, you can see is about 400 by 80. Alright, so if I wanted to know what size that menu or the navigation at the top was, because I wanted to get my login details the same size or the same width, you can see that I'd need to make my login screen there, the login element, about 400 pixels wide. Okay, so it fits in nice and neat. So they're the two add-ons um, that, that we're going to show you how to, to get. Alright, so to get Firefox for starters, we need to open up in your window and click Type in getfirefox.com. Alright, and this will take us to the Mozilla Firefox web page. Now you can see down the right here, we've got uh, Firefox download for free. So if we just click on that link there, Right, and just wait, and you can see that that now opens up. Now, I'm not going to download Firefox because obviously I already have it. But what you'd normally do is, if you've um, if you've got Internet Explorer or an older version of Firefox that doesn't have the tab browsing, or you just need to update it, um, you'd need to click on either Save File or Open File or Run File um, changes due to the different uh, different browsers. All right, once that downloads, you need to install it by running through the installation wizard. Okay, and once you've installed it, you should notice on your screen, on your desktop, you'll see a little icon with Firefox. Okay, so once you've got that, you can double click on that to open up Firefox. Okay, now getting along to the add ons. Now you can see that I've got the Colorzilla and Measure It down the bottom there. The way we search for add ons is go to Tools and click on Add ons. Okay, now you can see in my list here, I've got Measure It, Colorzilla, Firebug, I've got a few others as well that I've downloaded. Now what I'm going to do is just quickly uninstall the Measure It add-on. Okay, so I've uninstalled that just so I can go and reinstall it and show you actually the way that we go and install them. Okay, so if I go to Tools, 
add-ons again and you can see that I don't have measure it in that list okay so what I need to do now is go to get add-ons and in that list I need to type in measure it okay, it does a search and you can see that now measure it has come up here so if I click on that and click on add to Firefox and you'll also notice just before I do that that there's no icon down the bottom with the ruler anymore okay so if I click on add to Firefox Okay, you can see it's just going to go through a quick install. I'll click on install now. And then restart Firefox to refresh those changes. Okay, and once Firefox reopens, you'll notice that my ruler is down the bottom there again. Okay, and in my list of add-ons, I'll notice that measure it is in there again. Okay, so that's what you can do if you do the same with the Colorzilla one. Once again, click on get add-ons, type in Colorzilla. Okay, and it'll give you a list because I've already got Colorzilla installed. Obviously, it's not going to show up in my list there, um, but in my list here, you can see that Colorzilla. So just install those two add ons, and Firefox is set up and ready to go for our design steps. Look forward to seeing you in the next lesson, which is designing um, your website. See you then. Bye.